Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. It's a great energy. It's absolutely beautiful energy. I'm so excited and I cannot hide it. What can I say? As you know, I'm 60 officially and boy, I love it because I love the energy of number six and zero behind it. Especially because my personal year number in 2018 is nine. So for someone who is not close with what I'm talking about, it's like Grace, what's six and nine? <laughs> okay. You see, I'm saying this because some of you may be 60 some years old or know somebody who is or will be someday. But also how important it is to link our life purpose number based on your birthday, the day, month, and year when you add up and mine is three zero, so it's three. And the personal year number, the month, day, and the universal year number, 11 in 2018, which mine gives 9 as the outcome. Now, whatever your life purpose is, that's fine, going with the personal year number, but also how old are you right now? And what's your personal year number? What that means for you? So maybe based on my example, it will be easier to understand. So first, what is 60? 60 is 6 and 0. 0 is easy because 0 means eternity. Zero means intuition, zero means infinity. But also it's like a, a lamp, like a lime lamp, just looking at that six. Okay, take care of yourself, Grace, it says. It's all about you this year. So either you 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 200, doesn't matter. If you have zero, two zeros because you're 100 years old, the whole light is on you. That's it. Who are you? Are you happy? Are you fulfilled? Are you who you think you are? Are you enjoying your life? What's your life purpose? That's the light on you. The cycle of life the spiritual development, enlightenment, is usually when you are with a zero at the end. And listening to your intuition and connecting with the higher self becomes really important and more natural, okay? Uh, to find any uh, answers. So now, Number six, that is in my case, is balance, harmony, inner peace. It's like the scales, is this even? But also, very strongly, which many people doesn't know, is about connecting with the higher self. And it's easier. And when your intent is, yes, I want the answers because my higher self is my best friend in this life and any other. Some call it intuition, but this connection between us and the higher self. So interdimensionally when we're existing is 11 of us and then the 12th is the crystal in us connecting with the higher self. Why the best friend? Because we may change gender, 
we may change family members to be a kid and then to be a mother we can be a man we can be a woman we can be black or white or yellow whatever in different lifetimes but we always have the same higher self that voice who knows us know all the Akashic records so this is extremely important and when you have six, like I do, six zero, this is, or when you have your personal year number six, this also is very important, okay? But also, love for home, love for the family, a mother, father, sister, brother, children, uh, grandchildren and stuff, is more homey. So home is very important. If it's something wrong, we may change home. We may add the family numbers or we may um, cut off some. But that strong belonging, even to the roots. So when I'm in Poland, I may go there and enjoy uh, being there with the family in my homeland. But it may go to our past lives. I'm going, for example, to California. I may lived in California a long time ago. I'm actually going to connect, I think, with Lemurians and etc., which I don't want to tell everything yet. That's going back to my roots. It's going to be interesting in March, that's all I know. And going to Greece the end of uh, April, the beginning of May. I may be a Greek. <laughs> it's a strong connection. I love Greece. So no wonder that in 60s I feel like to travel all over the world. Especially when my heart wants me to go. Because that means reconnecting with my past, past lives. Oh, it's very interesting. Then, stability. Need for stability. Need to compromise. It's a very peaceful energy because every number, it's not just the meaning, but that meaning is the energy. And energy means a vibration. So, Six vibrates with this harmony, with compromising. I don't want to fight with anybody. We want peace, inner peace and peace in the world, in a cosmo. Okay? Seeking the truth. I'm a natural truth seeker. That's who I am. I have Jupiter in Scorpio. <laughs> I have Neptune in Scorpio. I the dig deep in anything, okay? I'm like a PI, a natural investigator, a natural detective, that's who I am. And it comes easily because with my psychic abilities, um, it's very hard really to lie to me unless I don't care. <laughs> but if I do to find the truth, of course, I will find it, okay? Being responsible. The selflessness, so it's not about me, me, being egoistical, but being altruistic, helping others, helping humanity, and humanitarian I am, and service to others. All these videos and everything that I do, it is about service to others, so it's no coincidence. Finally, the main words for 60 is grace and gratitude and I'm grace what can I tell you so um, is the beauty is going with the flow and I'm Pisces and being grateful for everything that we got for everything that I accomplished so far for who I am for the good things so Whenever I will find myself and whatever I do, I'm trying to see the best in everything. Finding joy in the most simple things. And I love beauty. 
So seeing the gorgeous view is, as for someone who loves food, seeing the buffet, the whole smorgasbord, and they like becoming ecstatic. To me, seeing the gorgeous view, either it's going to be in Greece or in California or anywhere else, is <laughs> the biggest joy, the biggest happiness. And I'm so grateful for it that I can see that I'm courageous enough to go after my heart's desires and fulfilling my life purpose. Nurturing, care, empathy, sympathy, that's all six. Now, I mentioned it's my personal year number nine, which means endings, completion. With endings, something else begins. When something closes, is a reason. The chapter of life is closing for me this year. So I can start something new. Venture into unknown, which I absolutely love. <laughs> I love surprises. I love change, I love life, I love adventure, so it's absolutely wonderful and I'm always ready for a change. And in 2018, boy, we're gonna have many changes, okay, of energy. So it's gonna be for some like a roller coaster and it may be scary for some of us like me, one great adventure. And I'm looking forward, I'm looking for it. It's, it's everything that comes suddenly, I have open arms, okay? Because it may come uh, to be a, a great project, uh, a, a great adventure, something new, something exciting, that's wonderful. And at this point, this compromise, this need for compromise, this harmony and balance energy of six is very needed when we have a personal year number nine. Because with number nine, with the sudden changes may come stress, being overwhelmed, maybe arguments with the others, because when you're ending something, when you're cutting something or somebody of your life, it is connected with this chaos, problems, and uh, something that maybe is not totally pleasant. That's why um, this harmony and balance, peace, is, is a blessing, blessing in disguise for me to welcome and to be very grateful for it. Very grateful, very graceful, very... loving and caring and I think that's a good enough reason to celebrate to celebrate to welcome change to be grateful for everything that I have and I will say the same thing for you it's good to know what energy surrounds you where is conflict and where is peace and find the best in everything no matter what. My dear ones, many kisses, many hugs and until